Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to repot an uh, succulent that is getting congested in the older pot. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, the plant is getting slightly congested because it's an echeveria. It tends to grow quite wide, and uh, now you can see the leaves are kind of getting uh, congested in this uh, smaller pot because the width of this pot is little smaller, and the succulent was a little lower in this pot. Now either I can put in a little bit more soil and increase the height of the succulent so that the leaves don't get congested. or i can use a much wider pot for this succulent now either ways uh, in both conditions we have to take out the succulent from the pot so it's uh, better to put it in a slightly wider pot so right now echeverias are in their growing season so it's a good time to repot your succulents but if you are from a place where in the temperatures are very high let's say that the temperatures are above 40 degrees celsius then i would advise not to repot your succulents because uh, it is going to be little difficult for them to acclimate and get adapted in the new pot so uh, i would advise you can do this uh, for people who are from a very warm environment or from a place where in the summers are very harsh i would say wait until the temperatures drop and then you can repot your echeverias but another important thing because this is an echeveria variety that is why i'm repotting it because it's in its growing period whereas the other succulents like sedums graptoverias graptopetalums uh patchoverias patchophytums uh crassulas all of them are in their dormant season so i'm not going to be repotting those succulents i will wait uh maybe during the monsoon season or so but right now i'm only going to be repotting my echeverias in case if they are getting congested in the pot now as i said i have two options either i can increase the soil uh, in this pot and lift the succulent a little bit or i can transfer it into a bigger pot uh with the one that has a much uh, bigger width so what i'm going to do is i will might as well transfer it in this pot so that because echeverias tend to grow uh, wide uh, they tend to grow horizontally they tend to spread horizontally rather than vertically like our sedums crassulas they tend to grow vertically but uh, for our uh, echeverias it's always better to have a pot that has much uh, broader width so that they can grow they can spread uh, horizontally and as usual uh, the pot should have a drain hole cover the drain hole with a piece of rock so that the soil does not flow out so i'm quickly going to fill the soil mix in this pot and then transfer this succulent into this pot now i have filled my pot with the soil mix this is the same soil mix that i use for all of my succulents which has to be loose porous and well draining and now we are going to gently take out this succulent from this pot very carefully so now we are going to take out this succulent from this pot and you can see a lot of dry leaves uh you can see the roots have almost reached till the stone that was used for uh blocking the drain hole this was the stone so you can see the roots have reached because this is a very small pot i think it must be around uh, less than 4 inch of pot and as always as i said once you take out the succulent this is the best time to take out all of the dry leaves and do a inspection you can see how loose my soil is it tends to fall off immediately and you know the soil is completely dry you have to ensure that whenever you're repotting your succulents the soil has to be dry and now i'm going to take out all of the dry leaves and uh, yes there are a little bit of mealy bugs as you can see which i will be cleaning it off a little bit of mealy bugs uh, now there are not much roots because the pot was really small so we are going to transfer now the plant is definitely very healthy because you can see it's completely open uh, it's not very compact it is uh, wide open which means that it is well hydrated and it is in its growing period so let me quickly clean the complete succulent if there are any mealy bugs i will take it away and brush it off and i'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon powder as well so you can see there are a little bit of mealy bugs around so i will use a makeup brush and clean it off so i went away from my other succulents and i've brushed it off and i also wanted to show you the roots even though the roots tend to look like they're very dry but if you're going to take a closer look there are a lot of new roots you can see this there are a lot of new roots that are growing so that's why the succulent is looking well hydrated so now all i have to do is just 
put this succulent in this pot now again i am not going to be using i'm not going to be putting any other succulent in this pot i'm just going to be using only one succulent in this pot because i want it to grow completely but if you do not have much space and you want to club more succulents together you can do that as well so that's it we are done i'm just going to leave it as it is and now i'm not going to water this succulent right away as you all know whenever you repot your succulent you have to just leave it as it is and do not water it right away you have to give it at least uh, two to three days for it to settle down and as you know that we have also pulled out some dry leaves so that is another main reason we do not need to water our succulent right away apart from that the succulent is also not asking for water it is well hydrated so we do not need to be worried now this succulent is going to be sitting in indirect bright light for at least four or five days and then i will start slowly introducing it to morning direct sunlight once again probably the acclimation rate is going to be slightly less because it's already acclimated to my environment so even though this succulent is completely acclimated in my environment i will still go ahead and do a slow introduction to morning direct sunlight after four or five days so guys that's all about this uh, video and let me also show you the other soil that was there in this pot you can see the soil is very loose very porous a lot of i'll have to clean the soil now never ever throw your old soil especially if the soil is healthy if you do not see that there are any bugs or anything what you can do is just put it in any tray and put the soil out in afternoon direct sunlight so that uh, the soil is nicely heated and if there are any insects or any insect eggs or mealybug eggs they will get destroyed in afternoon direct sunlight so i usually take this soil and i put it in a tray and i keep it in afternoon direct sunlight so that the soil gets properly baked what i usually tend to do is i take this soil and i put it in a tray and then i put this soil out in afternoon direct sunlight so that the soil can get properly heated up and then you can see i had added a lot of rocks in this and uh, this is how the pot size was not too small not too big it was a medium pot but the soil was little less in this pot a lot of uh, stones which i had added at the bottom or the base of the pot you can see these were all the stones that we had now this soil is very good uh, because you can see there are no mealybugs uh, no ants the soil is perfect to use for another plant but what i usually tend to do is before i use the same soil for another plant i tend to put this soil out in afternoon direct sunlight so that if there is any mold fungus or any eggs of mealybugs or anything i let it out in afternoon direct sunlight for two days so two consecutive days this soil is going to be in afternoon direct sunlight and uh, the soil will get baked nicely and then i will mix probably some more soil onto it some more fresh soil and reuse the soil once again so never ever throw your old soil you can always reuse it just put it out in afternoon sunlight and then you can use it back so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating